Hey guys, you're watching Cat's Corner episode 21. Uh, I'm back. Yeah, because last like week it. somebody had issues. Yeah, Cat Cancun issues. Cat decided to throw me under the bus last week. But uh... man. <laughs> oh shit, I got my CGC. Hold on, CGCs, right, CGCs are. I can get to see something good. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Cat had to step off the screen real quick because he uh, he got delivery today from CGC. So we're gonna unbox this for gonna, you guys. I've never done this on camera before. Yeah, well, that's a, <laughs> so let's see so what let's see what, what, what we, the, what, we yeah. what goodies we got here before we go into anything else. And there's some goodies. I was I love the way they pack this stuff. Oh, we have uh, we have a SpongeBob number one nine point eight. I uh, when I sent this in, I guess nobody had a. There's no SpongeBob number one. Uh, oh, that's like the only the only graded SpongeBob out there. At, huh? at least right now. So it came back nine eight. Hit him up on Instagram if you're interested. This is one of my favorite. Talk about Martina. This is one of my favorite covers. The Red Hood and the Lost Days. I know we got a little bit of glare. Um, the variant number one nine eight. This puppy is a gem. Hard to get uh, cover. Took one of those one of those tough covers from early um, 2010 that nobody ordered. One of the early Matina stuff. And uh, yeah, man, it's uh, 12, 1500 bucks. Real easy. <laughs> That's awesome. We got a Captain Marvel uh, number one Addy Grana variant from uh, just in time for the movie from 2012. <laughs> we got a 98 on that puppy. This is actually a hot book right now. Yep. We have a couple of uh, comic exposure Campbell covers, um, Spider Gwen. We've got the color version. We got a 9.8 on this baby. Catch the sketch cover also 9.8. Oh, I love this Venomized covers from back in 2012. The first, we're talking X Men 23, 9.8. These puppies are are uh, are are gold. So oh. tell us. So we've talked about it before, but when these covers came out, Cat could not give them away. Oh, and a lot of people couldn't give them away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't. I mean, yeah. variants from go back to 2007 and up. I mean, six. You couldn't. You couldn't give them away. You know, and now they're they're the holy grail of something. You know, <laughs> they're cash cows. We got a KRS Guardians. Oh, who did the more? Is that uh, our germ? Uh, art, no, Natalie Sanders. Natalie the cover Sanders. looks good. That's a beautiful but, cover. Um, and then we have a Transformers Escalation IDW, a Megatron Retailer Incentive 98. I love these IDW covers because they're so clean and the paper stock is so it's so easy to get a 98. And it's Klaus uh, Sherwinski. Skirwinski. It's uh, yeah, so this is uh, there's a couple other books in there, but I don't want to delay the show, but yeah, it was uh. I we got two more, might as well finish. Yeah, we have a Venom. We got a Venom 150. I got a 92. Greatest note says that I was so upset because it's a, a crane cover, but they said uh, it's got some tears somewhere, so I'm gonna agree to that. Probably that corner right yeah. there, but still, it's a still good looking cover. I can, I'm sure I can uh, move it. We got a first agent Venom 96 or a first Eddie Bra. I mean, um. Flash Thompson. Flash Thompson because he came out the same time with the yeah. Secret Avengers so there's that debate which one is which and then we got a Mighty, Mighty Mouse uh, Virgin cover 9.6 what's the green label mean uh, it, it's auto, it, it was an autograph um, came with a certificate so even though it's certificated CGC is uh, not going like, to acknowledge so it so when you, this, get, when you get when you get an autograph book graded, you have to have a CGC witness there, or else they give you the green label. It says written on cover with yeah. marker. So, but this is actually from a, for customers for his personal collection, so he doesn't care. Right. So this is not gonna go anywhere but in his personal collection. So yeah, this was a. Uh, he knows he was there. Yeah. Uh, so Deadpool two did come out this weekend, and you can watch the review right here that Daniel and I did uh, immediately after watching it Thursday night. Um, but funny thing. Haters abound already, not necessarily about the movie, but we're already hearing there's superhero fatigue. Never mind that Infinity Wars came out less than four weeks ago and it's already made almost, it's made a, a, a one and a half billion dollars in four weeks. Is it ne or never, is it five weeks? It's been four weeks. Four this weeks. is week number four. Never mind that. Um, Deadpool already made its budget back this weekend. hundred. It made more than its budget back this weekend. $125 million. Still had to compete with those 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 
troglodytes out there who still haven't seen, <laughs> who waited for the fourth week to watch Infinity War. Um, but Yahoo decided to put an article saying that there might be superhero fatigue because a rated R action film that has nothing to do with the MCU made 125 million instead of 200 million. I don't know, Kat. What do you think about I, that? Look, I mean, people need a job because if they didn't write, they'd have to work, you know, sit in traffic for two, three hours, <laughs> you know. I mean, look, if you're going to write articles, you know, <clears throat> you know, inform yourself or at least don't don't blow smoke. You know, come on, you know, just just be truthful with with, with your information. I mean, really, you know, we on this channel are not fans of clickbaity titles. And this is definitely a clickbaity article. You know, it's like, come on, you know, you know, the Avengers been on, like you said, three, four weeks. It's yeah. made freaking, you know, here come with the bushels of money <laughs> and it's still making money. Superhero fatigue, come on. Look, compare it. I'm, I'm sure you're smart. Whoever wrote this article, you know, you got a, you got a PG. How, what was Avengers? PG thirteen. PG thirteen versus R. Every time you do R or uh, you know, you you cut yourself at the pocketbook because you lose customers. So again, you're not Marvel MCU. You're Fox. You you're rated R. So stop hating. I mean. The movie made money. I mean, yeah. the movie's gonna make money. There's no superhero fatigue. It's just that it has a limited audience. Yep. And when every time you limit yourself, you hurt your pocketbook. And this is a choice that Ryan Reynolds and all these other guys choose to do because they wanna do the movie their way. That doesn't mean it's a bad movie. That doesn't mean it's not gonna make money. So please, enough with this yeah. hating and it's, it's uh, like, I don't, you know, just grasping for straws right now. It's like, I mean, you know, I need to keep typing because I don't want to go to work at McDonald's. So <laughs> let me type something that people are going to talk about. And here we are talking about it. And thank you for talking about it because then I get to write another article, you know, that makes no sense. We're doing what everybody was doing Saturday during the royal wedding. Like, I don't care about the royal wedding. Yet I saw like 75 posts on Facebook talking about how they didn't care about the royal wedding. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, let's get into the picks of the week. I, I was at the show on Sunday and I was talking to a, a customer and they were looking at the books and they were uh, they started mentioning Jeff Lemire and you know Sweet Tooth because I was selling the trade and, and I'm like ah, you know he asked me what I think and I said I don't know about I, I mean I love his superhero stuff but when you're talking non superhero stuff I love his Dark Horse stuff the Black Hammer stuff yeah and that's coming out this week uh, Age of Doom number two well that. Wouldn't Black Hammer be considered superhero stuff, isn't it? His own but it's not superhero universe. It's not superhero universe, but he it's it is superhero, but it's dark horse, so it has yeah. a you can say it has a different flavor. Right. But it but it's I mean I, I always man you know, that's Dark Horse, you know, Black Hammer this week. DC's got a few things. Detective, you get the last story arc of the Batman Eternals. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, how it ends, what Tanyan does with it. You got Flash 47, the beginning of the Flash War, part one. Um, I've been enjoying Suicide Squad. I've, it's just such a rough, aggressive book. You know, right. It's, like, it's really not what you expect. There's no. It's it's almost there's no lull in reading. There's no. It's just like bam, 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 and I'm like, wow, Williamson has been kicking it on that book. Again, we've talked about Wonder Woman constantly. It's, yeah. it's Robinson doing such a great job, and you got this dark god storyline coming up. And um, I, you know, I, I never cared for for the Green Lanterns or the Hal Jordan, you know, and Jeff Johns brought life brought me into that fold when he started doing Hal Jordan and left. Vivendi took over. Vivendi or is it Vivendi? Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, but um, he, he's been on this book through the whole Fifty Two crap and everything, and. He's turning this book around. This current storyline he's doing with uh, with the Dark Stars coming back and just that twist on them. And I'm I'm loving Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps right now. It's it's really really good, solid, solid, solid team book from yeah. from DC. There's so many solid reads this week. You know anything? And you could sit there and go, man, Hunt for Wolverine. Yet how many how many hunts are they gonna stretch this? It's like. They're gonna stretch it. They're gonna milk they're, it. They're definitely but milking it. But it's not bad. Uh, speak, <laughs> speaking of Wolverine, I, I had a, a discussion this weekend. There's someone out there trying to say that they honestly believe that Marvel wasn't trying to kill Fantastic Four and the and the X universe because they didn't have the the rights to the movies. 
Oh no, they did. Yeah, they were like, no, they weren't doing that. People just, people just weren't interested in the books. The books just weren't very good. And I'm Dude, like, the whoever, books weren't very good because they were trying to kill the universe. They kill do, those. Do you know how many people, <laughs> uh, customers in my store, were like this argument would come in and they're like, yeah, I mean, they're purposely doing this so they don't give out stories or support. The property. I mean, you again. kill Wolverine, you kill Cyclops, you kill Z Professor X, Jean but, Grey. Yeah, you kill Jean Grey. <laughs> but, oh, court. but they're not trying to kill the the the, the universe. That you know, I mean, the, the <laughs> books are such a mess. I mean, you know, please pick up anything from Extraordinary X Men or Uncanny X Men with characters you don't even know. All new X Men. They brought them from the past. I mean. Dude, I mean, it was such a mess. So, yeah, read some comics. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man. It's got second prints again. And that Red oh, yeah. red Goblin storyline, people are just eating it up on a daily basis. You know, I'm constantly, if you have any back issues, first prints. Everybody wants first prints. Thanos, dude, there's five reprints this week. I okay. saw that. Like, That's insane. Dude, it's nuts with all different oh, covers, space too. Space Ghost Rider. People like this Cosmic Ghost Rider more than the regular Ghost Rider. What? <laughs> <You know? laughs> because it's Frank at the 10th power. He's got everything. He's got the Cosmic Power. He's got the Hellfire. I mean, uh, the Ghost, the Spirit of Vengeance. I mean, he's a badass motherfucker. You know, that's Frank, and it's Frank, you know. So, I go, yes. See, he likes Frank. Frank's his favorite. Who's your favorite? Um, Franco Castillo. You know, we got Old Man Hawkeye, and I've been enjoying that storyline. It's been really cool. Again, it feels it feels like literally it fell out of the Mark Millar run. Yeah. I mean, there's no, and obviously it's not Mark Millar, but it feels like literally. But it, it the guy ran and did his homework for sure. Yes, yeah. definitely did his homework. You got a new Black Panther number one, and I honestly, I haven't looked behind it to see why. They're doing a number one. Yeah, still I, I found it all too. But you, you got a number one worth pick up. Uh, I've been enjoying uh, Greg Pak's Incredible Hulk with Amadeus Cho, and they're doing some some pretty interesting things with that character and the whole almost parallel to like the Bruce Banner Hulk situation yeah. where Banner's taking over. You got the same parallel going with the with Amadeus Cho. Iron Man 600 is Bendis' last issue. I think this is Bendis' last Marvel issue. Comes out this week, so... And it's coming out with a bunch of covers, And it's too. coming out with a bunch of variants, but... I don't like any I, of them. I mean, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm hoping it's not... Because Spider-Man Spider 240, the Miles Morales book, that was, in my opinion, that was a letdown. I mean, like, literally nothing happened. Yeah. You know, nothing happened. You know, it's just like everybody's hugging each other. Okay, great. Infinity Countdown's got another tie-in this week, Dark Hawk, and that made me le made me less excited about it because it's, it's, it's Dark Hawk. But, but you know, there was there's a lot of played by Sylvester Stallone in Guardians of the Galaxy two. No, that was Star Hawk. Was that Star Hawk? No, I don't know. That's <laughs> no, Dark Hawk is that '90s character, that whole Speedball era, Night Trasher, New Warrior. Right. I mean, uh, believe, believe it or not, there's a lot of Dark did Hawk. Did he have AIDS? Fans. No, he didn't have AIDS. Isn't there a character that had AIDS that looked like Dark Hawk? But no, this is Dark Hawk. He's a former New Warrior. Um, again, he's got a following. You know, people. I mean, I get that mid mid to late twenty year crowd that grew up with New Warriors and Dark Hawk. I mean, they're they're, they like him. I mean, so you know. Careful. Again, Careful. nothing really outstanding to blow you up. But I feel there's a lot of solid reading from, from right. both companies out on the table this week. I mean, if anything, I'm looking forward to the Flash War. Like out of this whole this is, bunch. This is F issue number one. The, yeah, the first part. I'm looking forward reading wise. I'm looking forward to that. And again, you got. You got Donny Cates on Doctor Strange. I think I, I don't know if this is his last issue before Wade starts with number one, but you know I've been enjoying that too. Right. And Mark Wade's not a bad person to take over, right? No, but not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I'm, not, I'm not looking Cates. forward to. Yeah. Uh, For start. me, I got I, I got a whole bunch of variants this week. Uh, pretty solid DC run. Uh, Josh Middleton, Batgirl number twenty three. Oh, beautiful, beautiful cover. cover. It's an amazing oh cover. God, already was... sold out at Midtown. Already sold out at other online distributors. That's a nice. I was like nice. Right. <laughs> One of his nicest covers to date. I I love that book. That cover. And it's a it's a, a it's not a ratio variant. It's not an incentive variant. So, you know, the, most of these DCs aren't ratio variants. Just, yeah, none of them just, are. If ratio. the book's not selling, it's gonna be harder to pick up because people are just not gonna bother Don't ordering order. more than a, right. a handful of copies. Um, Flash number forty-seven, Matina variant. It's also Flash War number one. So you got you got two things going on there. It's a really nice cover as well. 
Uh, this one's a personal uh, pick. Hellblazer number 22, probably gonna be hard to find, but it's a Sean Phillips variant. Really cool looking, uh, very reminiscent of his covers on Criminal and, and the stuff he does with Ed Brubaker. Um, check it out. And then Suicide Squad number 42, another Matina variant. This one's it's actually, actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a great it's cover, a cover, yeah. Freaking, uh, it's got like, yeah. It's like a trophy wall. Yeah, it's really absolutely. cool. Absolutely, really cool. Um, then always, I don't even know, uh, there's gonna be a picture because I'm gonna find the picture, but. Uh, on on Midtown, they had like the black and white version of the A cover for Wonder Woman, but another Jenny Frazan variant. She hasn't let down so far. You know, some are better than others, but they're still all good. Um, she's solid, man. Yeah, she's, she's really solid. She knows on, what the, she's doing. on the on those on that series. She absolutely knows what she's doing. IDW's got a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles book that comes out this week. No, actually, it's not new. It's a reprint of the Image. Uh, Urban stuff. Legends number Ar one. Yeah, oh. Ar Urban Legends. It's they're they're reprinting he would the know. they're reprinting the Image run. Right. Okay. So, so well, reprinting not... the image run, but it's got a. There's a cool Eric Larson variant that I liked. Check it out if you're a fan. If you didn't read it the first time, you can read it the second time around. Um, we're moving to Marvel. There's a lot of variants this week. There's a six. Lot. There's a ton of covers. There's a Black Panther number one. Why it's a number one again? No idea. But it's got like 75 million covers. And they're not. But there's some nice ones. There's some nice ones. There's an Art Germ variant with oh, yeah. with uh, the Dormelage on the cover really cool i like it real nice um there's a yasmin putri ratio variant but it's only 5.95 so i'm guessing it's a 110 maybe uh, i don't know I, I i have yeah i don't know cool looking cover it's got black panther on it and then the one that i like the most is uh in hyuk lee i think it's a one in 25 you can see the picture right there really cool looking variant he's been doing some really cool oh stuff. yeah no he's he's i mean yeah. he started with the like like open order variants you know and now he's He's moving towards the, like the one in twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. Like Marvel's like, ah, oh, you guys like him? Okay, well, we're not gonna do open orders and we're like we'll give you guys one in twenty five, yeah. one in fifty. You know, he's I like him. I like him a lot. Yeah, he looks good. Um, here's the thing: it's not even though it's a ratio variant, it's not gonna be a rare variant because there's gonna be a, probably a hundred thousand of these books printed out. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay, well, he says no. I don't know. I mean, I look, usually when it's a number one, I know, and they but, put out like the numbers, 97 million covers. Yeah, like, but maybe overall we'll have that number, but I don't think. Oh, we'll no, have it, this one, but, have the, but I'm just saying, do the math. If they print up, 90, let's say 75,000, let's say they print up 75,000 of it, so one in 25 is still going to be, there's going to be thousands of that book around. Finally, not a variant, it's actually the A cover, but also not everybody buys this book. Yeah. It's a Boom Studios, Big Trouble in Little China, Old Man Jack. Uh, it's a Raza cover with low pan. Really beautiful cover. If anybody out there that knows me personally, like Big Trouble in Little China is my favorite movie. I grew up watching it, so I, I collect all this stuff that he has to do with it them. Jack. Yeah, <laughs> it's all in the reflexes. Um, <laughs> love the cover. Haven't really read this book. Doesn't really like. Hasn't really. He doesn't read me. his books. No, don't I, worry I, about it. I don't read any of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a, if you haven't checked out the storyline, it's actually a pretty cool concept. It goes into the future. Like now they're back in San Francisco. Everybody's old. And but the the, the 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 wing what the hell was the name of the bad guys? See, I'm not that big a fan after all. But uh, Low Pan and his army's coming back to to take him out. Egg Shan's dead, I'm sure, because he was like 90 in the in the first movie. He's dead in real life. But uh, it's a really cool cover um, and a tiny print run. So you know, for probably, the hardcore fans probably, out there, yeah. yeah, check it out. Well, it's boom, so it's gonna have a low print, run, right? You know. And uh, speaking of boom, last week or two weeks ago. WWE came out with uh, oh, yeah, one, we talked about one it, of right? these Japanese female wrestlers. It was a one in fifteen ratio variant. Well, that book's already uh, it's it's going for a hundred bucks right now, hundred twenty five oh, bucks wow. for this variant. People are hard. WWE oh. fans are hardcore. They love their wrestling, and these covers are nice. They're not ugly covers. Who does their covers? It's just different guys I've never heard of. They're they're not they're not big artists, you know. Um, they're, they're like they're, they're finding these guys right. who just want to work and they're giving them the, the chance right. to do these covers and they're nice they're really nice i personally like the classic wrestlers so the new ones i'm not so big on but you know every single one of these books like uh last month alexa bliss they put an alexa bliss one out that book is going for 100 bucks is that a variant like one in yeah one in 15 oh, wow. you know you can find the if you find the books you can find them online for 15 bucks you know uh, or talk to your local comic guy and say, hey, I want this book. I'm just gonna order 15 copies yeah, there of the regular <laughs> because it's gonna cost you, you know, what, whatever, 15 bucks. If, if they like you, they're gonna give it Three, to you at their cost. Five, so let's say, you know, no, I, I mean, even if you get a discount because it's 3.99. Yeah. So you're looking at at least 75, 80. 
Ah, just buy the damn book by itself. Nope. <laughs> you'll never get rid of. <laughs> you'll never get rid of the. I mean, I, actually, you never know. You never like, know. If you, you, if never you have know. the right, the, you know, talk to people. And you might spend. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if you buy 15 books and they give it to you at cost. It could be what 40 bucks, maybe. Yeah, but nobody's gonna give you books at cost. They'll give you a well, discount. Well, if they like you. I mean, even if I like you, I'm not gonna give it to you at cost. I gotta. <laughs> somebody gotta pay for transportation, time, this, that, the other. I'll give you a discount. Maybe baby Gia, I'll give him a better discount, but. He just tears them up. <laughs> but something to look into, guys. Anyways, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Smash that like button. Leave comments. Let us know what you think. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.